And then make it presentable for everybody. There it goes. Nice. I think they said it works now, but I don't want to try it and, and, and tempt it. So it'll, it's only a few clicks of the button, so not too bad. Not too bad here. Okay, so where do we leave off here? Okay, not, nothing crazy. All right, so current events for Friday. Who do we have again? Who do we have? Devin and Alex. Oh, Devin and Alex. Okay, Devin and Alex. Current events for Friday. Don't forget. If you want to, you can do it tonight. Okay, or today sometime, whenever something uh, you find interesting. You, you just put that on the Google form and you're good to go. Okay, good. Next thing here, bell ringer. Oh, not American history. Not psychology. Oh, yeah, psychology. And then freedom. Describe the difference between a nation and a state. So we went over this yesterday. I know I went over it pretty quick. Uh, what are the four basic characteristics of a state? Describe the difference between a state and a nation, and what are the four basic characteristics of a state? Let me see real quick if we're presenting yet. Everybody at home. Good. Yep. Awesome. Good. Let's see if I can for it. All right, working on the bell ringer. Give you guys a couple minutes to work on this. It's a little bit of a longer one.
Any more time? We good? I think we're finished. All right. Describe the difference between a state and a nation. So what is a state? What is a state? Lydia, you go ahead. Yeah, good job. So as a set boundaries, right, and it follows the four characteristics, right, that we have. Okay, the four characteristics of a state. All right, good, good job. So with that, a state has set boundaries, and what is considered a state? What do you think, Lydia? The yeah, the United States, right? Good job. All right, United States. So since we're on the state right now, what are the four basic characteristics? Anybody? Go ahead, Woodward. Population. population. Good job. So every state needs to have a population. Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's dependent on size, right? You might have a bigger population, a lower population, depending on what type of resources that you have there, uh, depending on trade maybe, uh, education, whatever it might be. Okay, whatever it might be. All right, good job. So every state has a population, right? And it's dependent on how big or small that it actually is. So China, India. Huge populations, right? Okay, good. What's another characteristic of a state? Go ahead, Austin. Territory. Yeah, territory, right? So we said that, uh, well, Lydia said that with the boundaries, the territory. We have distinctive boundaries or a territory. Good. And uh, with the United States, classes up here, we have Hawaii, we okay, can our separate territories where, you know, we still consider a part of our state. Okay, good. Good job. Uh, what else? What else? Go ahead, Sarah. Sovereignty. Sovereignty. What's that? It's like maintaining your cultural without being like Yeah. Yeah. Good job. So keeping your distinctive values, right? Your culture, your your cultural aspects. Good. And this might be even as how we relate to other countries, how we communicate, how we have foreign diplomacy. Okay. Um. Yeah. Good. You said it spot on. All right, what else? The last one here. Go ahead, Alex. Government, right? Government. Okay, how are we going to try to govern the people within our specific state? That's the United States. What kind of government do we have? We're going to talk about the types of government here today. Now, what type of government do we have? Does anybody know? Go ahead, Sarah. Like um, yeah, yeah. So like a presidential democracy, you could say a constitutional republic. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then with North Korea, what's North Korea? What's that? What type of government do they have? Woodward, what do you think? Yeah, dictatorship, right? So it depends on each state. Obviously, they're not all the same. They could be, they could vary. All right, with Great Britain, England, the United, well, yeah, Great Britain, what, what, what do they have? What type of government? Does anybody know? We'll talk about this maybe more tomorrow or uh, Thursday. But Alex... Monarchy. What kind of monarchy? Uh oh, we'll get to it tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, constitutional monarchy. Yeah. So people have those basic rights. It's not an absolute monarchy, and uh, they they also have a parliament, which we'll discuss. All right. Good. Good job. All right. So state, distinctive territories, boundaries, and we have the four characteristics of a state. We have population. Sovereignty, government, and what else? Territory, right? Okay, good. Good job. And then finally, what's a nation? Describe what a nation is. What is a nation? How is that different than a state? What is a nation? Sarah, go ahead. An area defined without boundaries, but it's like defined by people who have like the same culture. Awesome. Yep. Good job. So it doesn't mean that they, they don't necessarily have a distinctive territory, right? They don't have a boundary, a distinctive boundary, right? Uh, the nation is just a, a group of people that share common, uh, uh, common customs, right? Culture, language, maybe religion. Okay. So a nation doesn't necessarily have distinctive boundaries or territory, right? And what's the example that I gave yesterday of a nation? I think I said the one in the Middle East, which kind of roams around multiple states within the Middle East. Does anybody know? I like to order them there at the uh, the restaurant before I get hot wings. Cheese, 
Kurds, right? The Kurds. I just I shouldn't write it like that, but Kurds, all right. The Kurds in the Middle East, okay. They are uh, they are considered a nation because they have a similar culture, okay. Have uh, the same uh, religion, language, okay, and they don't have a distinctive territory or boundaries that they have, okay. They can kind of they, they kind of span across a few different states in the Middle East, all right? What is a multinational state? Or multinational, yeah. What is a multinational state? I think I talked about that yesterday as well. It's right above us. Lydia? Canada, right? And why are they considered a multinational state? Yeah, good job. So there's a French-speaking part with uh, different customs and culture from French. Or France, sorry. Some from France. And then... Uh, some speak English, right? So there's some parts of Canada that speak English and have similar culture and customs of the, the of England, right? Good, good job. So that is a multinational state, Canada. That's a good example of one. Okay, is there any questions on that, guys? So are we good with a nation and a state and then the four characteristics of a state? All right. So let's do Friday again. Let's do Friday. Other than the current events, you two. Yeah, the citizenship test. Sarah, I saw you got it done. Good job. How long did that take you? Not too long, though, right? Yeah, not too bad. So there we go. Sarah has it done. So, again, you have till Friday to do it. I signed it last Friday, so that should be enough time just to get 100 questions done. I think the first one, what is it? What's the colors of the flag? Yeah, so some of them are really, really easy. We should know all right, vocab. We'll shift on to vocab real quick. There we go. So the terms for today, oh, it can't really. All right, there you go. How about four of them? I wanted to just do three, but let's do four. Oh, sorry. There we go. So we have ratify, ordinance, the Federalists, and articles. Okay. So I'll give you some time to look that up. Copy them down, and then we'll go over. We'll go over. Did anybody try the online textbook at home, by the way? No. For some reason, I think Content Keeper is blocking it. I need to try to figure out how we can solve that issue. All right, note to Mr. Rupp about it.
All right, you ready to go over this, guys? I want to give you a little bit of time to work on a citizenship quiz. Sarah, you already got it done. Good job. So we work on other work then when we finish up with the notes for today. So ratify. What is ratify? What does that mean? Go ahead, Sarah. Yeah, good job. So you're you're getting uh, formal consent, right? Official approval. Okay. So plain and simple, guys. Official approval. You're getting formal consent. So ratifying a constitution, right? You're trying to push for formal consent. You're 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 getting that formal consent or that official approval. So ratification. You got that, Laura? You good with that? Okay. Ordinance. What is an ordinance? What, Austin? Okay, yeah, good job. So uh, let's just say a city. All right, let's say New York City. Um, they want to try to push a decree or a, uh, I don't want to say a law, but an authoritative order. Okay. Let's say they want to try to end smoking in public restaurants, okay? They will push an ordinance out. It's a decree or an authoritative order to end smoking in public restaurants, okay? Do you guys understand that with an ordinance? Okay, you can just say it's an authoritative order or a decree, a decree. Wearing a mask, right? Yeah, yeah. Authoritative order. So that is what an ordinance is. All right, Federalist. What is the Federalist? Alex, do you know? Yeah, good job. So we're going to talk a little bit about next chapter. Um, you know, stronger government. We need a more Federalist government. You know, the separation of powers. Okay, we need a military. We need to try to set up a common currency. All right, the Federalist tries to answer these issues written by Alexander Hamilton, okay, John Jay, and James Madison to try to push for a stronger government. Also, he wants to try to ratify a constitution, a written set of laws for the American government, for the people to follow. Okay, good, good job. So the Federalist is just a series of written letters, okay, pushing for a stronger government, a written constitution. Okay, a more central government. Centralized government. And it's good with that. Alex, you good? Next one, articles. Articles. So there's, a, I guess, many meetings you can get from this here. So articles. I guess you could say the articles, the seven articles of the Constitution, the first three labeling the branches of the Constitution, or the, uh, the branches of government, sorry. So you have the legislative branch, right, executive and judicial. Okay, so you can say the seven articles of the Constitution. It also might mean the articles of confederation. Does anybody know what the articles of confederation are? Anybody? Go ahead, Woodward. What's that? Before the actual Constitution was... Basically, our first Yeah, all right. Yeah, our, our first form of government, right, before what we have set up with the Constitution. Okay, the Articles of Confederation. Good job. And that was pretty much giving the states the rights over the national government. It had a weak central, centralized national government, and the Articles of Confederation didn't have a common currency, which we'll get over, which we'll talk over here in the next chapter. All right, so the Articles, I guess you could just say, you know, you know two – Two branches, you can say the seven articles of the Constitution, okay, which we'll discuss and go over next chapter, or no, in chapter three, sorry. And then there is the Articles of Confederation, which was the first government body of the United States before we got to the Constitution. All right. Is there any questions on that, guys, the vocab terms here? All right. So i like you guys to open your books. Well, go on the online online uh, format of the book here should be able to access by the website all right i'll give you some time to do that 
And we're going to go to page 18. Page 18. So still in chapter 1. So we're going to go to chapter 1 here. Go to the website. Going to go to Freedom Understand the Government. Go down to chapter 1. Okay. We go to page 18. Oh, yeah, this is it. Sorry, 17, but it's 18 on the textbook. So types of government. All right, so who would like to read at the top of the page here, right underneath the types of government? The representative democracy is a third model for government and inspires people around the world. Since in China and 1989, mark for government of the people by the people and the Today, democracy is a number of all other forms of government. Over the centuries, people have organized their government in many different ways. Saudi Arabia, for example, the ruling royal family controlled the government ministry. Family members chose the king among themselves thousands of miles away in Burkina, Faso, and Africa, a small group of wealthy landowners and military officers governed the country. In Sweden, the people elected a rich guy, the national legislature, and put in parents elected the prime minister to carry out the law. All right, good job. So we're going to go over some types of government here today, um, just the three major types of government. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to get more in involved with uh, different forms of government that fall under these types of types of government. Okay. So democracy is solid. Who would like to read that? I think it's an interesting story here, the cover story. Who would like to read that here for me? Lydia, go ahead. Some 10,000 Chinese troops have sleeping for just three seconds. Yep. Where earlier, earlier this morning, the brutal assault on the worst days of bloodshed and history came after seven weeks of administration by students calling for the law. Protesters gathered in pair as soldiers spray them with automatic weapon fire. Once government forces gain control of the hundred acre square, the youth is made to crush the goddess of democracy. A 33 foot plaster of styrofoam statue that the students have erected. The Chinese Red Cross put the death toll of almost 2,000 people. All right, good job. So what does China have? Do they have a democracy? No. All right. Are they still having issues today with um, d democratic uh, you know, uh, individuals trying to fight for democracy? Well, I guess you say people fighting for democracy. Yeah, there's a lot of rebellion still today in China, and, uh, it, and it kind of shows with their government trying to put down these types of, I won't say rebellions, but different types of um, grievances that the people show in these marches or these signs of democracy that they're trying to push for by making what Lady Liberty there, okay? Uh, the, these statues. And uh, there's a lot of bloodshed in China because of these types of acts that these people are trying to push for democracy and a voice in government. Okay, still today, still today. You don't hear about it too much, but it's still on the news. Right? It's, still, it's still on the news that there, there's still conflicts of this going on all right good good job so we'll get into communism here and socialism a little bit later uh when we get to different um, types of government as well and, and economic systems but uh, right now we're just going to focus on the major types of government all right good good job all right so major types of government i just like you read autocracy oligarchy and democracy there okay you're going to finish up on page 20 okay as you're scrolling through, it would be finished up on page 
Yeah, 19. There you go. So finishing up on page 20 of the textbook, I like you read major types of government, autocracy, oligarchy, and democracy. All right, so let's go over this real quick. I want to give you some time to work on your citizenship quiz. All right, so types of government. What do you read about? What do you read about? What's one type of government that you just read about? Major type, major type. So all the government forms, the different types kind of fall under these three. What's one of them? Holden, go ahead. What's that? Yeah, what is an autocracy? Yeah, good job. So one person has full power. Okay, good job. So for the most part, an autocracy, all right, that leader, okay, they have full control of the military, okay, police force, the economy, okay, and, and so on and so forth. And what types of government do you think fall under an autocracy? What do you think? Hold them, you know? Yeah, yeah. What what type of government do they have? It's like a subtopic, I guess. A dictatorship. Good job. All right. 
what is another form of well, a subtopic of an, an autocracy? So we said dictatorship. What else? Woodward? Monarchy. Yeah, what type of monarchy? Absolute. Yeah, an absolute monarchy. Good job. So we'll get to those a little bit later here. Okay, good. Good job. All right, what's another one? What's another one that you just read about? Alex, what's another one? What's an oligarchy? Yeah, good job. So it's not one person making all the decisions, but it's a small group of people, usually wealthy, uh, noble people, you know, noble, uh, you know, politicians or wealthy elite status that they make the decisions for the country. Might be uh, it's military, economics. Okay, they control the police, they control the military. And it's a small group of people that control the politics. Good and control all what the government does. So an oligarchy. And the last one is democracy. What is a democracy? So these are three major types. What's a democracy? Plain and simple. What is it here? Austin, what's democracy? Yeah, good job. So the people have a choice of what type of government they want, what types of legislation, laws that they want to be pushed. Okay, the people get to choose their elected officials, which we'll later talk with the republic. Okay, good. Good job. So three types of government. The main focus is understanding three, these three major forms. So an autocracy, okay, we have an oligarchy and democracy. Is there any questions on that, guys? All right, we'll get into more types of government more tomorrow. So constitutional monarchy, absolute monarchy, presidential democracy, and uh, constitutional a uh, democracy. We'll get into that a little bit more in detail tomorrow. But make sure you guys know the three major types of government. A lot of these types of government fall under these three. Okay, these main these main types. All right. Any questions at all? You good? All right. I'll let you guys work on your citizenship quiz. I know that's coming up here on Friday. Uh, there's a hundred questions, so I'll give you some time to work on that. Sarah, you can work on something else. Okay. That's all I got for today. Devin, make sure you remember current events. Okay? Alex, you got it.